So there's been some questions about which area a map should go to for um, a metallic type of material or something w defining whether or not an area is metallic or dielectric or not. And so I'm kind of taking this approach from using uh, RenderMan for a little bit and uh, also using some of the algorithmic tools such as Substance Painter. Uh, for defining materials and so finally we have this principal shader and there's some questions as to where some of the mapping goes and um, basically the things that we want to look at the most is this base color the metallic area the roughness and where is it the normal which defines the bumpiness of stuff I do not have a normal map for this well I do but I don't have it connected uh, but I just wanted to show that right now the base color is just driven by a color map and we're looking at these objects here the magazines up top um, and you can see right now that they're kind of uh, glossy as well so I have my um, um, metallic map and that was exported from substance painter into the metallic slot and so this is driving whether or not this is this material is kind of more along uh, uh, of a metallic side or a dielectric side. Uh, so it is obviously metallic, but it's kind of a painted metallic. Um, but there was some confusion. I, I remember watching uh, Andrew Price talk about this earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to pop this over into the specular area for the specular map, and what you can see is that metallic is the value now of one or 100% metallic and so the roughness is being provided by the roughness map here which is pretty self-explanatory it kind of chops everything up and makes it a little bit rough and makes all that stuff kind of um, um, reflect a little bit different if we take this over here it's kind of defining the map is kind of defining metallic areas and it looks pretty dull it's all this all the magic happens in this uh, roughness area but if I go to the specular it doesn't really change much as you can see something's happening and if I go down like this then we take all that type of sheen away so let's go ahead and put it back to the default to 0.5 and we'll plug our roughness map in sure I got the right one wrote this map right back in there and it's going to start defining uh, how this map works as well now the specular now is at zero so if I adjust this back to the default value you see that some of that stuff is coming back and it's more like a blo uh, a glossiness how much that's how much that uh, surface the actual surface not the material is reflective and it was suggested at one point in time, um, I remember watching Andrew Price say, oh, well, let's just leave it at 0.5 because that's where it should be. And there's some interesting effects. If you crank it all the way up, it reflects a little bit more of the surroundings. I have a, um, an image map lighting this. I think that's the only thing I have in here. I know I have a lamp in here, but I might have turned it off, I believe. Yep. So it's just uh, image-based lighting. Now, if I turn the map over here, now we can see that it's either all metallic or dielectric. All metallic or dielectric. Our dielectrics should be somewhere around here maybe for reflectivity. Um, our metallic should be up around here. But if I have a map defining which areas are, are metallic or not, we shouldn't have to worry about that. But this is the thing is that right now it looks like a really shiny type of brown metal. Um, and this just like a dull surface so it's going to the dielectric or metallic area so I have a map defining what parts should be dielectric or whatever the painted parts and maybe the metallic parts here at least it should um, I don't have the plugins enabled on here so I'm pretty sure no wrangler isn't enabled so I can't really show you that but the specular is really actually just controlling the glossiness over the top of that you know, without any specular highlights, it's not really doing much. And so it's kind of controlling what was said before, um, a little bit of the IOR or, or a Fresnel type of effect. So you can see the Fresnel effect coming on over here. 
but not so much over here and that's kind of how it should work there is a little bit of reflection in this area um, but not very much and so if we turn that up we get just a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more so it's going to take some time getting used to I believe I don't think if I swap this around that it's going to be any more attractive now it's just completely dull and now I have to control my metallicness but it's over the entire thing it's over the entire object so it's you know it doesn't matter if this part is scraped off or not um, it's just going to apply it over the entire thing so the map defines where that metallic part should be and in some of these areas down here uh, like the shoulder you can kind of see where that metallic map is uh, being put I want to switch these around really quick so if I went to the specular part now it kind of doled all that stuff out and then I had to define whether or not it's going to be metallic so it defines the whole thing as being metallic not just the part that I had mapped if I go ahead and put the map back in there and then it goes okay so this is part is metallic this part is not and then my specular portion isn't really having an effect on this area you see it doesn't really have an effect on the metallic area or the dielectric area as much as it did over here if I crank it up it's kind of reflecting probably more of the environment and so on but it's still defined as being metallic and not so the specular area is kind of like I, I do believe it's either the index of refraction or some part of Fresnel and it can define the glossiness over the entire object while allowing the metallic map to define what areas are metallic and what areas are not so I think that's where the confusion is coming in at uh, same thing with this torso area we had the same thing happen there um, I have a roughness map and a metallic map I gotta start loading in my normals at some point in time but the same thing the specular isn't really doing much but kind of pushing some of this Fresnel around you know making it more stand out more bright or more dull but you can see that even with my metallic map this is saying oh okay this is metallic but the painted parts aren't and uh, switching that around kind of dulls everything out so just be aware that I think the maps should be in the metallic area.